Brand Tech here, where tech is made simple. I've posted one or two videos previously on how you can free up disk and hard drive space using the built-in Windows 10 and 11 storage sense utility. And um, I will uh, leave links to those videos in the description in case you would be interested. But in case you didn't know, there is another tool that can be used uh, in Windows um, that um, can be used to delete unnecessary and temporary files from your system to free up disk space and um, works in a very similar fashion to the storage sense utility and in case you're unaware that's the old disk cleanup utility the legacy disk cleanup utility that's found in the windows operating system now um, in case you're unaware to launch the disk cleanup utility um, i think the easiest option to do that on both um, windows 10 and 11 would just be to head to your search search for disk cleanup hit enter or just click on the relevant option and this will launch the utility. Now, just a bit of history here and a little bit of a personal story before we uh, get into the disk cleanup utility. Um, the disk cleanup utility is a legacy part of the Windows operating system and has been around uh, basically since the beginning of Windows and has been available in um, all the uh, Windows operating systems that have rolled out, I think since Windows 95 right up until present day. And just on a personal level, um, I used to, uh, use the disk cleanup utility um, back in the day. Well, I still use it, but back in the day on my first Windows machine, which ran Windows 95, um, the total size of my hard drive on my first Windows machine was 400 megabytes. That's it, 400 megs. So I used to run this to try and squeeze as much free space out of that little hard drive as possible. Now, getting back to the disk cleanup utility, once it's launched, if you have more than one drive, installed you'll see a drop down menu to ins to choose a the uh, relevant drive you'd like to clean but by default it's going to select your c drive or the drive your windows operating system is installed on and that's actually the drive you want to clean which will get rid of most of the uh, unnecessary files and once you've done that you just click ok and depending on a couple of things like the size of your drive the amount of files and um, your hardware you're running this scan can take seconds to minutes and uh, yeah, at the top, you'll see the amount of uh, files that can be cleaned. And yeah, you have all the different unnecessary temporary and junk files that can be removed. And you don't have to uh, uh, remove all of them. Um, you have different options. You can choose which ones you want to remove. But in my personal experience and opinion, um, over the years of using this utility, um, you can select all of these on the first run and you will not harm your system and it's completely safe to do. And if you are a little bit concerned, you can just click on each category um, and that will just give you a description regarding the files that will be deleted if you just need peace of mind. And once you've selected the files, you just, in the options, you click on OK and it'll give you this warning, delete files. And I'm not gonna delete it now because it's, I just wanna move on with the video, but that can once again take a couple of seconds to minutes to complete and that will remove those files. Now here you'll see another option at the bottom of the disk cleanup utility called cleanup system files now if you click on this um, it's going to give you the option to remove unnecessary system files that are safe to to an extent to um, delete from your system now once again we get to the same um, menu and um, i would just suggest um, choosing um, the c drive which it will by default or the drive your windows system is installed on click ok and this might take a little bit longer um, depending on your drive and the files and also the system files on your on that are installed on your on your device and once that's run um once again you see the um, amount of space that can be freed up at the top and over and above the uh, the options that were available in the first step and the first run yeah you might see and could see a couple of other options now i don't think i'm seeing them in my case except maybe one of them because i have recently run a scan but yeah you might see microsoft defender antivirus which will um, you have to give you the option to uninstall and remove non-critical files used by um, Microsoft Defender. Device driver packages. Um, um, your Windows keeps copies of previously installed device driver packages. But a word of caution here, only install, uninstall or delete d device driver packages if you see it listed here. If you don't want to roll back to certain drivers, because once the, some of those driver packages are gone, uh, like display drivers, for, for an example, you won't be able to roll back if you are having any problems with your latest driver. So just take note of that. Then you get language resource files. Um, remove unused language resource files. That's another option. That one's okay to do. And then there might be another one here. Uh, clean up Windows update files, which is completely safe to do, but just another word of caution. Um, 
if you want to uninstall a Windows update, like a cumulative update in that regard, maybe you've had problems with a recent update, do not clean Windows update files, else you won't be able to uninstall certain cumulative updates. So just take note of that. But otherwise, over and above that, it's completely safe to do. And once again, you just select the different categories and options, click OK, and then delete files. And then once again, that can take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. And personally, um, I use the Disk Cleanup utility and in conjunction with the Storage Sense utility to uh, do all my um, cleaning of my hard drives on all my Windows machines. And um, um, that's all I use. And personally, um, I don't feel as a home user, you need to be using any third party software to get the same job done. Um, um, software like CCleaner, in, in my experience, causes more harm than, than, than good and it causes more problems than it actually solves. And if you're paying money as a home user for, a, 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 for software to clean your, your system, I think you're wasting your money. But that's it. Just a quick uh, review on how you can use your disk cleanup utility um, to free up uh, a disk space and hard drive space on your system. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.